Most people in America are quite familiar with a concept of editors. Editors are people who edit magazines, newspapers, online content, and offline scripting of videos and movies. An editor's job is to cut things and edit things in a different way, maybe changing the order of things. The problem I'm having today is I produced a lot of content at the request of several people, but what I found was the length of time that I created has now been cut by someone. At no time have I ever authorized one person to edit me outside of one friend of mine. That invitation extended was based on the book that she helped me to create. In other words, she was the inspiration for that book. And I encouraged her to help me to repair it and fix it. But that was years ago. And at this time, I have never authorized anyone to access my online channels. And what I know about these impoverished thinking employees at retail establishments is that their arrogance doesn't ever equal their education about business laws or the actual technologies of the federal government, the Secret Service, the CIA, and the FBI. Maybe it equals local law enforcement, but it is unwise to presume that someone that high doesn't know who a homeless person is. I want you to take a look at some of the political campaigns that have been crossing our news waves to see if anything seems familiar to you if you know me. But I am never a person who names drops, but I am not a person who is fearful of talking to our government or the officials who govern us. We all have the right under the law to speak to our government officials. Any person in America can write a letter provided its intent is, in general, positive or constructive or suggestive. Otherwise, you're just a complainer and a loser of American government because the letter will be destroyed or thrown away for its uselessness on paper. Now, that's my presumption. That is also my opinion of how I would think that communications department would run. But I am not that person. So I cannot say what they would and would not edit any given day out of the mail. You see, the people who receive the mail on behalf of the actual person who the mail is to are probably different. I don't know that we've ever seen a United States president walk out to the mailbox at the White House and pick up the mail and walk back into the house like we would do anywhere, and he probably did in his Boston estate. Or maybe he just had one of the Secret Service folks that is assigned to him do that. There's a marvelous film called, I think it is Protecting Tess, or something like that, and openly, I'm sorry, Guarding Tess, and openly it's a great understanding of some of the difficulties of that. But there's all kinds of spy television going on, and I'm not sure it's healthy for young people to watch. I don't particularly like this Big Brother house stuff, although I do like the orator and the commentator on that. She is an amazing journalist and was. But the truth is, and God feels so, but the truth is that in life we have moments of time to speak the truth about where our boundaries begin and end with regard to anyone else's show. And for some reason, one of the marvelous interviews I did with one of my business friends is now completely missing from my channel. Why is that? Who gave you the right to delete anything of mine? Who gives you the right to edit one thing I write? At no time has Blaze Communications LLC, Blazecom TV, Dragon Priest, or anyone given you the right to do that. I am going to find the person who has my passcode books, and I'm going to make sure that they pay for their abuse of my technology and the abuse of my creative rights. At no time do you have the right to be participating in my life, in the sidelines of my life, without my consent. 
At no time does an officer of the law have any rights under federal law to do that, I'm pretty sure, because I'd like to see those laws. And no $300 investment in going to a command academy for a sheriff should authorize you to do that. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about the law. And the laws begin at the top, meaning our international treaties that govern America, Inc., and then our federal laws that protect our citizenships and our rights. Beyond that, we may have state laws which are just regurgitations of federal laws, and openly some of them are so esoteric we don't need them anymore. Local city ordinances are only positive if they're meant to promote peace, love, and diversity. Anything else of your opinion is straight out perversity. But I am giving you a federal warning that at no time do you have the right to edit my copywritten word or my intellectual property. So get with the program. America is about the regarding of laws. And if you're a foreign citizen, if you're a foreign student, you've just broken every aspect of the rights that you have to be here.